see things as they are. They might be better or worse than you think. See things as they really are. Not distorted through your failures and lack of hope. When you were young, the world looked lovely to you. The world has not changed much. But you have. One grows older, grows tired and cynical. Why not regain the lost outlook of mourning? One grows ill. Why not regain the vigor and elan of one's strong yesterdays? Why not put away ill health? As one grows tired in life, his ambition fades. He wants only peace. Why not have peace? Ambition cools and caution grows and one's dreams fade. Why not have them back? The world around us is a world we make ourselves. We make our own luck our own fate. You can remake your fate. Your views today are the product not of fate, but your own failures. Why not face the fact? Why blame others? Why not look at the only person who is captain of your fate? You. In your hands, with Scientology, you can remake yourself. And remake your fate and luck. And rise up from the ashes of misdeeds with new life. For Scientology is the study of you. And you need help. He was the nation's youngest Eagle Scout at the age of 13 and twice journeyed to Asia before the advent of commercial flight. He attended America's first class on nuclear physics and was a pioneer at the dawn of American aviation. He led expeditions into then remote islands as a member of the famed Explorers Club and was a giant in the golden age of pulp fiction. He was a master mariner licensed to captain vessels on any ocean and a United States Naval officer who commanded corvettes during World War II. His landmark work on the human mind wrote bestseller lists for 100 consecutive weeks. And he's the most published and translated author of all time. He is L. Ron Hubbard, founder of Scientology.